Tips for writing the best cleaning business proposal. You know, on the janitorial store, we have a big selection of, of cleaning proposals. So go there, go to the download library, and you can view some of those proposals. You'll find for uh, specific uh, types of buildings or locations, uh, and you'll see we have quite a few of them. And uh, you know, they're they're all vary in size and in what's inside of them. Uh, so uh, when you when you're able to download them, you'll be able to look at the table of contents and see. Uh, uh, all of what what pages are included with that proposal, but we have everything from a three-page proposal all up to multi-binder proposals. So go to the janitorialstore.com and check them out. So one of the things that you want to do in order to write the best uh, cleaning business proposal is you have to listen to your prospect. So when we have that first meeting, uh, we when we're doing the walkthrough, we're asking a lot of questions. We want to listen to them. You know, what are, how are they responding? What kind of nuggets are they giving us that we need to pay attention to and maybe include that into our proposal? And what I mean by that is a lot of times when you're doing a walkthrough, the person will tell you some of the pet peeves that they have. You know, maybe it's a trash can being in the right position, or maybe it's the dust on the letter holders or dust on the partitions. You know, everybody's got their pet peeves, so listen for those and make sure that you include them in your scope of work when you when you do your proposal. So the other thing that you want to do is also tell them how you're going to solve the problem that they currently have. You know, maybe the problem is that they're they're cleaning in house and the, the person just isn't doing that good a job and they they just don't have time to clean, you know, so tell them in your proposal how you're going to solve that problem. Um, and maybe it's uh, maybe they have a cleaning service already, and uh, maybe they're not happy with the cleaning service for, you know, either it was performance or it's just poor communication. But whatever that is, make sure, as I said, listen to them, pick up on that, and make sure you include that in your proposal when you write your your uh, introduction letter. So then the other thing that you want to do is uh, give them a time frame as to what's going to happen. What's going to happen in the first week? The first month, the first quarter, first year, you know, I guarantee you that your competition is not doing that and, and putting that in their proposals. So if you do that, you're really going to stand out. You know, you had your discussion, uh, your, your your discussion with the prospect. Uh, they told you what their expectations are. So if you're able to meet those expectations, put them in writing. You know, let them know that this is what's going to happen the first week, the first month, the first quarter, the first year. So. Uh, you're going to close a lot more deals that way. So something else that you want to do is uh, create an evergreen agreement. You know, don't create a contract where the where they can't get out of their contract for months on end. Uh, you see that most commonly with uh, franchises, uh, and there's other cleaning companies that do it too, where they'll put a, a right to fix, you know, a 30-day right to fix, then plus a 30-day uh, notice, and so on and so forth. You know, that just prolongs it, you know, 60, 90 days. Um, you know, I, I just don't see why you would even do that. Uh, if you're not performing, you're not doing the job, you, you don't belong there, plain and simple. You know, uh, what we do is way too easy. So no need to try to, uh, you know, be slick willy and prolong things and just to get more payments from them. You know, give them an easy way out. Give them an evergreen uh, agreement. Uh, it never needs to be renewed. That's the beauty of it because if you have a contract, Every year you're going to have to go to them and say, well, it's time to renew the contract. That just puts that in their mind that, oh, wait, maybe it's time to get other bids. No, you don't do that. You have an evergreen agreement that just lasts forever. As long as everybody's happy, you continue to do business. And there's only a 30-day 30 uh, 30 uh, uh, out. So if they're not happy for whatever reason with your service, they can just give you a 30-day notice. And or if you're not happy with them, if they're uh, a a customer that's just complaining a lot and you just can't make them happy, well, it's good to have a 30-day out for yourself too. So you just give them a 30-day notice and the relationship's done. So uh, I strongly advise that. And uh, something else you gotta do, you know, for, uh, for writing the best cleaning proposal is to list references. Now, the, ideally you'd want references that have uh, similar businesses as the, the prospect that you're writing the proposal for. So keep that in mind. Uh, something else that you want to do is that when you are uh, when you have written that proposal, you always want to pre present the proposal in person. 
Um, you know, nowadays it's getting to be more and more common that people want you to uh, email the proposal to them. You know, and that's fine, but here's what you want to do. Do a video proposal, presentation, uh, of you presenting the proposal to that client. Because in many times, when you have somebody that's asking you to email you the proposal, it's very well could be that they are not the decision maker. So this way, if you're doing a video proposal, you're actually presenting to the decision, decision maker. Rather than having that, that third party you know, interpret what your proposal says. So keep that in mind. And then I'll always, always, always ask for the business. Close the sale. Uh, you always have to do that. Um, so anyway, these are the, the tips that I have. Hopefully you found them useful. If you did, uh, go ahead and click on the like, uh, like and share button. And uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and click on the subscribe button uh, to subscribe to hundreds and hundreds of videos that we have on the janitorialstore.com uh, YouTube channel. Uh, so that's all I got. So thanks for checking in today, and uh, we'll see you next time.